Hi, welcome to another Hella Yeah 47 tutorial. Okay, and this tutorial is on how to make someone jump in Blender. Like, you know how you want someone to jump? Like, jump, yeah, freaking jump. You know what jump means. Okay, so we start out with this blank file, just a new file, nothing done with it. All you have to do is have just this regular cube, the sunlight, and the, and the camera. So you want to go to top view? First, let's just do this to the cube and go to this little Pac Man thing over here. Then click Actor Dynamic. Eh, what the hell? Let's make that mass 150 or 1.50. Okay? And then what we're gonna do is lift this cube up. So let's go View Side and lift this cube up. Because you see this gray line right here? This is the line that's this grid. See, that's this grid. So what we gotta do is go side, then pick this cube up, because then it's on the grid. And then we have to click on, make sure you click on the grid, and make sure it's deselected. Then on the grid, you have to go mesh plane. Then make a plane. Size it out. Okay, so you size your plane and everything. So then look, see, whenever you want to start the game, you can just go to object mode and go here. Okay, there, see? So it just drops. Okay? So, so, once you get it to drop like that, see that? So let's go, let's just give this some color. Let's go to this little orange, like, let's go to this ball, add new. Let's give the bottom green so it'll be like grass. Crap, didn't do it. Let's get the bottom green so it'll be like grass. And then give this top cube, uh, what the hell, red. Rastamon. Okay. <laughs> Cocoa Puffs. Uh, not Cocoa Puffs. Uh, Apple Jacks. Mm. Cinnamon. Right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so let's just test it out so far. P. See? You just see it dropping like that. Okay? And. Okay. So what you have there. So you, you probably already know how to add like controls to it. So you just have this selected here and then go to add add and add on the controllers this add one to the center add a controller and add an actuator and connect them all okay and then after that all you have to do is click all like click on the always on the sensor and change it to keyboard and press just like space for like a jump and then over here on motion what you're gonna have to do is see there's D lock right uh, below torque and d-lock there's one two three the one all the way to the right by the l just make that ten see because so, when that's ten that's the jumping motion for the cube see so p to play then space see jumps or you could go a different way because that makes it fall really fast go to one of these which I don't know what it is oh teach is playing counter-strike okay and so you could just probably at not ten like five to this and see what it does okay that, that's bad one that's no so just do this this one's good just go here crap go here and go ten that's it so in D lock, all the way to the right, right next to the L, make that like a positive 0 0.10. And then, all you, that's where you get the jump. That's all you need for the jump. See how easy that was? Anyone could do that. Even my retarded pet cow can do that. It takes like freaking two seconds. And next week, I'm going to make a tutorial on armatures. Because, like, on YouTube, like, this is what I mean, like, armatures. Like, in a game, the character you want, like, an enemy, you want him to walk around to go to, like, kill you. So, we're going to make that armature for that, so it could come to you and kill you. Like, the animation for that, and make it so that go to you and kill you. Next week. Okay, baby? Okay.